Hello, hello. Hey, Aries. How are you guys? How are you guys? I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are feeling blessed. I hope you guys are motivated and have a great day. To my subscribers, welcome back, darlings. To those of you who are new to my channel, hello, I am Lee. I will be bringing you the tea, baby. I keep it real, so I might get a little raw and reckless up in here. But my intention is to never hurt your feelings. So please take what's for you, and what's not for you, you leave it behind. Let me see if I can get this light out of my face. Okay, that's much better. So, we will be seeing what's going on. Let's see what's going on. We're going to start with what you may have going on in your subconscious mind. What may be coming up in your dreams. What you may need to know that you're not exactly sure of. We're going to dip into the shadow and light. Okay, because in order for us to understand our light, we need to know what's going on on our shadow side. Uh, we will be doing the truth oracles and then where spirit goes, we will follow. Spirit ancestors, angel guides, you are welcome into the room for a general Aries read. Aries, please be kind. Please subscribe. If at any time you want to leave me a little comment, please don't be shy. Talk to me nice. I read those. We now have the super chat going on where you can leave me a special thanks or purchase me a cup of coffee. That'll be great. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate the love and support you show to my channel. So let's get it. Crack a lack in. Spirit, ancestors, angel guides, what clear, concise messages do we have for Aries? Initiation, baby. Initiation, mindful, group think. Oh, mindful, very demure, very demure. <laughs> What's that you saying the kids got going on? Yeah, something like that. Anyway, um, so being mindful, the initiation process, the crossing, the start of something unknown. Okay, so you may be questioning something that's going on in your life. Or that has revealed itself to you. Or that has something you have, you're not sure about. It's like you want to be a part of, but you're not sure. Either not sure how to get there. Or not sure of what is going to be... What's expected of you? Will the expectations be high? Will the expectations um, cause you to have to come out of character? For some of you, you may be wanting to become a part of a community, a group of people um, that require some type of initiation. The initiation is what you are, where you're conflicted at. It's like you want to be a part of, but you're not sure that you... Are ready for all the colors, for all, maybe the excitement. You may not be ready for the change. You may not be met ready to make uh, long-term commitments. It makes me feel like you're thinking about... It's like you're thinking far ahead. Let's see what the mindful is. For our Aries, mindful, keeping a clear mind, hurtful thoughts, groupthink. The human mind can be so many things, a prison, a latrine, a circus, 
a temple, a cave. It can be a place of restriction or a place of never-ending expansion. Right now, be careful of where, you're wa- where you wander in your mind. The quality of your thought is key. As, you, as you're in a fertile time in full manifestation, you want to ensure that the seed you plant will sprout and flourish into the life into the life you seek to grow. Be mindful not to scatter weeds. It's easy to be influenced by others right now, especially in our digital age. It's hard to protect yourself from the energy and the sheer amount of information bombarding you 24-7. If you allow all the fear and uncertainty to pollute your mind and emotions, you will feel like you will fill yourself up with the negativity and then see more of it in your outer world. Mm. Stay out of of gossip and other forms of groupthink, for when you cut another person down to their level due to their perceived mistakes or limit them by your envy, you're active, you activate lack for yourself. So fill yourself with thoughts of plenty. Imagine your universe unfettered by scarcity and alive with abundant hope and goodness. Be mindful of what you of what your mind is full of and keep the faith. Good brings more good, love, more love, gratitude, more things to be grateful for. Amen. So makes me feel like the lone wolf. Okay, you may be someone who is a leader. You may be someone who's been um, focused on self. You may be someone who um, don't follow the crowd. Uh, You may feel, or you may even be like introvert. You may be an introvert. And for whatever reason, okay, you may be feeling like you're ready to come out of your shell. For some of you it may be even the saying come out of your coming out of the closet. Um this is something that you're contemplating on. The message coming in, the message I need to send out is Hopefully, you're not doing it to please someone else. Or that you are listening to other people and it's like they're trying to convince you. Like someone's trying to convince you. Absolutely. So someone may be trying to convince you to cross over to a lifestyle that you're not used to. Um, To be a part of something that you're not sure of. Okay, darling, something that you're not sure of. Uh, You may be thinking about it so much that it's coming up in your dreams. You may be um, hoping and, and hoping that you can be or you're willing to be a part of, <clears throat> but something inside of you is not, you're not convinced. Okay, you're not convinced. So, let's see what's going on in the shadow and light. Powerful personal growth. So, you're more powerful than you think. And the reason why you're questioning yourself is because you're, you've been, like you're strong-minded. You're strong-minded, your beliefs, um, how you live your life, um, you have strong willpower, um, you're not easily influenced, yet 
there's a situation that is causing you to question yourself. Um, powerful personal growth makes me feel like there just may be look, intoxication, this distorted view, and overindulgence, which is what it makes me feel like you're afraid of. You're afraid of coming out of your shell. I felt that from the beginning. Okay, you're afraid of coming out of your shell because you may think that something is too much or that that's not how you are. That's not how you roll. That's, it's not what you're used to. Um, <clears throat> it feels like someone is convincing or you may be watching videos or you may be watching, you may be trying to figure yourself out. You may be trying to figure yourself out and you may think or you may have seen a different lifestyle that has caught your attention but you you're just not sure you're just not sure that that's true. okay you're you are questioning your next step okay will you go through with something will you not go through with something is it necessary for you to go through with something um Do you want a complete transformation? Let's see, let's see what's going on here. Firm. Okay, firm, wide awake, clean and decisive. It makes me feel like this is how you've lived your life. Like this is how it should be. <clears throat> this is the right things to do. This is what's expected of me. Um, but it just may not be enough anymore and now you're wondering what's next what's next two deep thinking remembers solve puzzles and cold words so this may be a hard pill for somebody to swallow Or accept or understand ascending leveled up promotion and progress drinks liquor coffee tea or water and crown okay so it's time for the level up baby it's time for some type of change in your life that's going to bring colors, the colors of the wind into your life, baby. Okay? Um, it will be a hard pill for someone to swallow. It may be even hard for you, okay, to understand this about you or accept something about you or um, um, want this change in your life. Uh, with the ascending and the crown, it seems to be what, um, what needs to happen, okay? Um, it doesn't mean that you're a follower. It means that you're finding a, another side of yourself. Um, you may be coming into an awakening where you've been through situations that have um, caused you to break free from an old way of life, coming into a new you, trying to understand this new you, it's not its not an easy thing, okay? It's not an easy thing. Um, for some of you, you may be getting a promotion where you have to choose maybe to uh, move away, new location. You may be coming into a promotion where um, you will be have to do a lot more than what you're used to. You may be afraid of that. You are, you can, you are good enough to do it. You can do it. Um, it feels like, it feels like you're not going into it. Like you're not just um, so willing to just 
uh, jump into something until you think it through. So, we're moving on, we're moving on into the tarot for our Aries. Aries, please be kind and subscribe, like, comment, share. I appreciate the love and support you show to my channel. I appreciate you guys being here. We've been growing, we've been doing, we've been hitting the milestones, and it's all thanks to you guys. Thank you so much. Here we go. We're moving on into the tarot for our Aries. Spirit ancestors, angel guides, clear, concise messages for our Aries. What do they need to know? What do they need to hear? Um, heartbreak. It feels that it feels like this situation is going to be hard for someone. It may be hard for you. It may be hard for you. Two of Swords, Three of Coins. It feels work related. It feels like you may have to like change your location. Change your job. Take a risk. Okay? Um, you may not. You, you just. The two of swords is. Barriers. Feeling blindsided. Um, not being sure. Um. Maybe stuck in your head, stuck in your ways, stuck in old ways, old thinking. Due to some type of hurt, some type of pain, some type of emotional anguish. You may not want to hurt somebody. Or you may not want to end up on the short end of the stick. Um, it feels like a promotion. It feels like if you change this job. Or you change. The, it's, it's some type of change within you. Okay. It's like you have to change you in order to accept a promotion. That's what it feels like. In order to grow in another direction. And it feels like there's someone who is not, doesn't agree with you. Doesn't agree. To the point where it hurts. To the point where it's, 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 it's um, the firm and the two just makes me feel like it's a hard pill to swallow. Um, let's see, let's see. Justice, Seven of Queens, and the Five of Swords. There's some type of conflict, some type of conflict, some type of competition. Um, like somebody is like saying that you think you're better than them. Like instead of them being happy for this, they feel like, like you don't deserve it. Like, you don't deserve it. Like, they put in the work. They deserve it. This is competition. This is the opposition. Okay, honey? Somebody jealous. Somebody's jealous. Someone's envious. Someone is... Uh, uh, they just not happy with... With this initiation. It feels like... They're just not happy that you're the one who's going to be crowned, or you're the one who gets the op are going to get the opportunity. Um, there may be arguments, there may be fights, 
disagreements, competition, chaos, heartbreak, cause and effect with justice. But this justice makes me feel like somebody feels like this ain't right. Although it didn't come up in reverse, it makes me feel like someone feels like this ain't right. It ain't right for you to get the promotion um, or it ain't right for you to accept the position. It's causing you confusion. The Four of Coins. It's causing confusion. It's causing some type of delay. Okay? And the delay makes me feel like um, it's a delay... Like you haven't accepted the offer or like you're not sure about accepting the offer or when to accept the offer. You may be holding back. Um, it feels like the offer is for you, like it's good for you, like, okay, like um, it's something you may be good at, something you've worked on, something that is... Um, Something that you've wanted to do. Something that you want to do. Whoa. We got the devil on the bottom. So you're afraid. You're afraid and someone's not helping you. Because I don't hear, but I, I, the buzz, the buzz, like a flea, like a, like a, <laughs> like a gnat. Oh, the gnat is like, buzz. it's annoying, it's irritating. Okay, I hear that. But I don't hear the words, like their words don't matter. Like they're just being irritating. They're trying to hold you back with the four queens. They're trying to hold you back, baby. Um, they're trying to hold back your awakening. Okay, there's something. This is an awakening. Uh, seven of Swords in reverse. That you are Oh, it's time for an awakening. It's time for an awakening. It's time to change your world, baby. It's time to do something different. Um, ooh, I scratched the shit out of myself. Woo! Um, you're holding back. You're living a lie. Or someone is. It makes me feel like you want to come out the closet. It makes me feel like there may be someone that you don't want to hurt. There, that's why the decision is so hard for you. It makes me feel like um, your true colors need to come out. This is this is now. This is what it can be. Um, it feels like you need to be yourself. It feels like you've been holding back for a long time. Um, it doesn't have to be. For some of you, it will be. Um, for others of you, it's a position. It has to do with a job that someone is not happy uh, happy for you about because they feel like you don't deserve it. 
Um, someone's living a lie. With the seven of swords in reverse, is uh, someone's being disloyal, someone's being deceptive and sneaky. Someone's not speaking their truth. Let's see, let's see. On the bottom of the deck, we have the world. Um, so the overall energy is something that will help you to feel content, fulfilled, self-validation. So, we have a departure. If, if for those of you, this has something to do with the job, the fact it may be the change of place, change of place, state, city, country, that's, that's what you're scared of. You're scared of that, the new, okay, the new. Um, we have the Eight of Cups, which is making me feel like someone is going or needing to move on, let go, in order for them to have personal groups and be happy with the sun on the bottom of the deck. So, it's time to be accepting of yourself. It's time to leave something behind in order for you to start over. Whether well, it's people, places, or things, you know your life, baby, I don't know your life. Yep. Having the courage, deciding that you have the courage that you can move forward. This is not an easy thing. Okay? This is um this is a, a life-changing experience. This is a, a major next move. Um it is ascending though. Okay? It is ascending, it is growing, it is being able to come up on top. The seven of coins is being able and finally um, uh, harvest. It's harvest time. It's time to benefit from the fruits of your labor. It's time to stand firm. Okay, it's time for you to stand firm and defend what you believe in. It's time to stand ten toes, baby. It's time to stand ten toes. And the four cups again. Do we have it over here? Oh no, that's the queens. Okay. So we went from the three of the from the three of coins to the four of coins, which makes me feel that like that um that like the promotion. Okay, like the promotion. Um uh, it also it's also making me feel like for some of you that if you do get this promotion, or when you do get this promotion, when you decide, when you decide, when you make your decision, okay. You may need to budget. You may not want to be so fast to um, you want to keep control, okay? You want to take control. You want to make sure that you take control of your possessions, okay? You don't want to keep holding on or being afraid to. One thing is that to make money, you spend money. Okay? Um, you have to give. You give to receive. But, but, it makes me feel like you don't want to give too much too fast. 
okay? Too much, too fast. You need to uh, conserve yourself. That can also be um, your power, right? Your energy. It doesn't have to be material, uh, money, money. It can be your power, your energy. Like not putting too much energy into the conflicts, okay? And, you know, it's not easy to walk away emotionally or physically from something that you cared about or have known all your life, okay? It's not an easy transition. And, and initiation is barely or rarely easy, okay? So, you need to create balance, exactly. You must balance out the work of, and you gotta, you gotta balance. This is the same energy that this uh, four of pentacles is showing me. Now we have the two of pentacles, which makes me feel like you need to balance life situations and financial situations. You don't want to give too much to either. Okay, you need to balance it out. Have some flexibilities. Okay multitasking, staying a little busy, but stick to your priorities as far as your material life is concerned. Okay? You don't want to do all work and no play. You don't want to do all play and no work. Okay? You need to be, you need to keep a balance because it can go either way at any time. It's a risk. In the center of the reading, baby. It's time to take a risk. It's time to take a risk. New beginnings, freedom, optimism. For some of you, you may be leaving home. It may be your first time alone, out in the world. Um making decisions for yourself, you know, don't go too fast, baby, don't follow the crowd, okay, still continue to be um, standing on what you believe in, standing on what you feel is right, standing on who you are, okay, don't let people deter you and, 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 and screw with your mind, okay, stay powerful, baby, powerful personal growth. Okay, so so are you willing? Are you willing to take the risks after the challenges that you have to overcome? Yes, the ace of swords. You can be. You can have victory. Okay. Like this situation that you are scared of, that you don't know what's the outcome of, that you're not sure which way to go or how to go about it. Um, this situation, you can be victorious in the situation. You just need to be honest with yourself. Don't let nobody lead you astray. Stay focused. Okay, stay focused. That is, This is your life. This is what you're trying to manifest in your life. This is what you're working for in your life. That... Um, that this is for you, okay? It's for you. It's happening for you, not against you, okay? Um, there's something presented in itself to you that seems like a risk. A risk that is going to give you clarity, okay? Um, the Ace of Swords is a sword that you get to cut people, places, and things off in order to clear your path and cut out the confusion. Okay, darlings? So, you can be victorious in a situation, but you can't be, like, having too much going on. And then we have the Lovers. And the page. 
So you may be observing love. Oh, that may be what you need to balance in between. We have love. We have the lovers. This situation may be a decision between love, family, finances, This is a big decision. This is a, a, a big one. This is a a new beginning, a fresh start, a clean slate. A clean slate that everybody's not going to be happy about. Do what makes you happy, baby. Okay? Do what makes you happy. Do what makes you happy. It feels like when you decide to choose you and do you and stand firm on what you believe in, when you make this decision, your life decision, because it's your life, it's not nobody else's life. Okay? Yes. 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 It feels like, <laughs> and it looks like, <laughs> that's the Ten of Pentacles, darling. Financial stability, home, family, legacy. Um, financial security. Um, home is where the heart is. Mm -hmm. So there's a decision that you need to be make that you need to make. There's a decision that you're going to need to be brave about with strength. Okay, you're not going to make everybody happy, baby. But make sure that you are first and foremost. Because it's your life to live. Okay, darlings? Um, the strength card is bravery. Inner strength, focus, courage, and control. It's also a yes card. The next card is the Ace of Pentacles. So there is a financial new beginning presenting itself. I feel it. This whole reading has to do with more than just finances, but there is the opportunity to grow in finances. Okay, to have some type of promotion or to move towards a, some type of job that's going to pay you more or pay you better. Um, it's just that you need to buy a budget, okay? You need to be aware of your finances, okay? You don't want to live beyond your means. Give yourself time, okay? Because this is a new start with the fool in the beginning. It's a brand new start, fresh slate, okay? This also has to do with the way you, some type of emotional, some type of love, some type of relationship, okay? Um, you're going to need to be strong in this situation because the new can be scary, um, you have an Ace of Swords and an Ace of Pentacles, which means that um, once you decide to take the risk, the roads will clear up for you. There will be opportunities for you, new opportunities, better opportunities, okay? But it's up to you. It's up to you, okay? The overall energy on the bottom of the deck being the Ten of Coins, is being able to create a financial stability for yourself and for your family and future generations. Okay, darlings? Yes, yes, yes. So, let's get you a... some... <laughs> I lost the word. Some advice, some advice from the universe, baby, from the cosmos, for our Aries. It's one of them sleepy days. It's one of them lagging days, baby, but make it do what it do. Uh, listen to your body and do what it is asking of you. Mm 
Can we get some more spirit ancestors, angel guides? Stay present. That's where life happens. Don't get too caught up in your head, baby. With that two of um two of swords, sometimes you can get stuck in uh the ways of how someone raised you to be, how uh, someone taught you that it should be, okay? Um, it may be that way for them. It may not necessarily be that way for you, okay, darlings? Can we get one more for Aries? Say goodbye to your past <laughs> and leave the baggage behind for good. Confirmation, darlings. I am Lee. I will be bringing you the tea, baby. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Come, join, subscribe. Let's be a part of. On the bottom of the deck, it says clear your mental and physical clutter. You will feel so much better. <clears throat> Please subscribe, like, comment, share. If you would like to send a super thanks, the button is now on the bottom of the video. I appreciate you guys. The love and support you show to my channel is well appreciated, darlings. So the signs out here are Leo, Gemini, Aries, Aquarius, Scorpio, Libra, can be, don't have to be baby, okay darlings, don't get fixated on the signs, we have multiple in our charts, I'm going to get you a message, as a matter of fact, I'll do a rundown of the zodiacs. What they may be feeling, what they may be thinking towards our Aries. Channel love messages for our Aries, spirit ancestors, angel guides. Channel love messages for our Aries. Starting with the water signs. Starting with Pisces. For Aries. Here we go. For Pisces. Oh. For those of you dealing with the Pisces, it says, I don't want you to hold on to me. Please don't wait for me. Cancer. Cancer for Aries. Can we get one? What they may be thinking, what they may be feeling. Channel love message. Cancer for Aries. Cancer. You made me doubt myself sometimes. I don't know who I am anymore. Scorpio, Scorpio for Aries, Scorpio for Aries, can we get one, Scorpio, can you accept where I am right now, because my life is a mess, another one fell, I'm not going to read it, I kind of kept going, uh, air signs, Gemini, Gemini for Aries, Gemini for Aries, channel love message, it is not easy for me to explain how I feel, Libra, Libra for Aries, what they may be thinking, what they may be feeling, Libra, can you forgive me? Aquarius, Aquarius for Aries, channel love message, Aquarius, Aquarius, ay Dios mio, they keep falling, I'm fighting my feelings for you, Earth sign, Capricorn, Capricorn for Aries, what they may be thinking, what they may be feeling, 
Capricorn for Aries. I am better with my mind than my heart. Virgo. Virgo for Aries. Virgo. Virgo. I have addictions. I am no good for you. Virgo. Taurus. Taurus for Aries. Channel love message from Taurus. I want to touch you and get physical. Oh la la. <laughs> Fire. Sagittarius for Aries. Sagittarius for Aries. I want to have sex with you is all, all I can think about. Oh my goodness. People getting frisky up at her. Uh, Leo, Leo for Aries, channel love message, what they may be thinking, what they may be feeling. I am depressed with my life. And Aries, Aries for Aries. Here we go, can we get one? Aries for Aries, I have secrets you would not like. And on the bottom of the deck, the overall energy is you are too good to be true. And that was your tea, lovelies. Smooches.